I'm in Galveston, Texas this morning, and it is hotter than blazes. And I tell you what, a water slide would feel really good right now, and that is what has brought me to Galveston. One of these cruise ships behind me has a brand new type of water slide on it that no other cruise ship has. We're gonna take a look at it. It's Royal Caribbean's Liberty of the Seas. <laughs> The ride starts to get really crazy when you hit that first downhill section. It's really steep and you get some serious speed going and that takes you all the way up the uphill section right there, just like that. You almost hit the wall at the top and then gravity takes over and pulls you backwards to the end of the ride. It is so much fun. We went four times in a row. It was so fun. Now be aware that there are some very restrictive rules regarding riding the tidal wave slide. You have to weigh at least 100 pounds and be at least 52 inches tall to ride. And you can't weigh more than 280 pounds. And if it looks like you're even close to not meeting those limits, there is a scale there and they will put you on it and weigh you before you're allowed to get on the ride. The other thing is, is that you can't take anything on the ride with you. No GoPro, so unfortunately I was not able to get any point of view you know, video going down the slide. And you also can't wear a watch or even a wedding ring. I had to take all that off to go on the ride. Uh, just a swimsuit and that's it, just for safety reasons. Now as a public service, here is a perfect example of how not to exit the raft. I would say it's probably one of the three best water slides on cruise ships. Disney's got the aqueduct slide, Carnival's got the green thunder slide on a couple of their ships, and then here the tidal wave slide on Royal Caribbean's Liberty of the Seas. Now listen to what some of the passengers had to say about it. This is probably the fastest, funnest ride. It doesn't last very long, but if you scream it makes it like 10 times better. I think so. It feels like a 90 degree drop, just straight down, straight up, and straight back down. It is great, and this is from someone who hates roller coasters. The tidal wave is so much fun. You go so high. It's awesome. It's like a thrill, like excitement. I love it so much. Nice little jump at the beginning, and it looks like you're about to fly off the top when, once you go down, but then you just run around. Do a little rush. <laughs> It's interesting that a lot of the people that ride the tidal wave slide don't know the history of the slide. Things got off to a rocky start after the slide was installed on the ship about five months ago. There was some kind of design problem. It took them a few months to re-engineer things and make it all safe and get it right. But it's great now, no problem now. And it opened up about three weeks ago and people are really enjoying it. Tell you what, between the tidal wave slide, the flow rider, the twisty water slide, the ice skating rink, the rock climbing wall, there is a lot of fun to be had on Royal Caribbean's Liberty of the Seas. I'm Jim Zim. Thank you for watching. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll be notified anytime I post new videos about water slides and model trains and all the things that interest me.